All right, today I'm going to show you an overview of all my peonies. Uh, most of them are tree peonies. Got a few herbaceous. Some of them are intersectional or uh, idle peonies. Let's see some of the herbaceous. They usually die back to uh, the ground, but uh, right around Christmas, still going to have the red buds if you can actually dig it down deep in there. Uh, maybe not quite yet, but. Over the winter time, usually by about February, March, you'll start having these little red buds that come up. And here's one of the uh, tree peonies. And a big mat of chicks and hens or sempervivums. These things grow all over, all over the place, they're pretty vigorous. And here's one of the younger ones. Yeah, it's probably gonna flower for the first time next season. Here's another one. A lot of these guys tend to stay small and short to the ground. It'd take a while to grow. And some more herbaceous. All these look a little bit different because you got all kinds of species made of massive order from an import uh, through China uh, so many years ago and I have tons of species. I used to be selling these guys off all throughout the US but I kept a lot to my own so I probably have about 50 to 100 of these plants and they don't look too impressive right now but they got these buds in. Each one of these guys is going to become a nice big flower next season. It's going to start growing probably uh, sometime around uh, March and grow really quickly in April and usually sometime May. It's going to, uh, each one of these guys is going to turn into a nice blossom. But they don't look too well right now. Yeah, this one looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, if they're nice and swollen up like this, it usually means it's going to be a blossom next year. Some of them look completely dead, but they're not. Now, here's the one of the intersectional ones. Usually, these guys die back, but you can have old stems that uh, grow up to about two or three nodes. This one's up to two nodes, and uh, sometimes they still sprout up from the stems, but uh, for the most part, they die back to the ground. Yeah, here's another nice big one. Yeah. I may have uh, up to upwards of a hundred of these guys. But once they're actually planted in the ground at the beginning, it's pretty important to put in a lot of good compost. Uh, good, give them really good aeration because if you don't, uh, they might get de dehydrated or they might get waterlogged. So it's important to control the moisture content. But after a few years, once they get to, let's say, maybe a foot tall or, uh, not, I can't really tell by height, but once the root system uh, really takes hold, then you don't really have to worry about it too much. So uh, let's say once it gets about this size or the one behind it, you really don't have to give it any care and it's gonna come back every single year, get a little bit bigger. It looks like a different one. Let's see. And here's some of our massive ones. These guys, uh, let's see, I don't know, probably eight, nine years old. Some of these guys are over three feet tall. Massive and you got the seed pods. Yeah, they still actually got a whole bunch of seeds here. Yeah, these guys, yeah, they're pretty impressive. But when you grow these guys from seed, most of them turn out to be uh, single, uh, boring type uh, flowers. Not gonna be too interesting. So you usually want to uh, buy grafted ones. 
Only thing with grafted ones is sometimes the herbaceous roots start sending up its own shoots. So it's important to grow up pretty uh, deeply and make sure the herbaceous uh, section doesn't take over. And especially down here, I've got a few of these small ones. And it's not really good drainage here, but you got the water flowing right down here. Actually, I have to raise this up a little bit uh, to try to uh, make sure it doesn't get too much moisture. But as long as it uh, grows well next season, it should be pretty set. Got a few more on the side. I'm probably gotta get these cogs that's been in here for like uh, so many years out of here. Once we get to springtime, this is pretty awesome. It actually fills in completely with foliage. It's been getting a little bit bigger every single year, so that's going to get crowded. Uh, well, it already is in some places, but yeah, sometimes the foliage uh, gets up close to four feet tall. Alright, well that's my peony garden.